bought this on sale. This is a stoic sleeping mat. This pad is a lot more comfortable than what we had before. This is a self-inflating mat, so I just have to unroll it. It will inflate on its own. Definitely not my best work. My egg is so messed up. So I just brought myself some blankets and pillows. Of course, money comes out and takes a dump right next to my campsite. I'm gonna watch a new Netflix show. I found this one, it's a K-drama. It's called A Love So Beautiful. And I know it's gonna be good. I feel like every single Korean drama or movie that I've seen on Netflix so far, they're all good. So I'm gonna start this one. It Okay, so it's definitely getting really cold. So I'm gonna use my camping sleeping bag. This sleeping bag is so warm. So this one is rated, I think, zero degrees. It's rated for five degrees. So this is warm. my camping buddies she's just 
chilling. It's getting really cold earlier and once I got the sleeping bag, I feel much better. I should also put the rain fly on, but I'll probably do that later. They've been cuddled like this for the past hour. Money squished in here. It's so toasty. Once I got in the sleeping bag, oh my gosh. It's so comfortable and so toasty. As for my Korean drama, I'm watching It's Okay Not To Be Okay. So the other drama, as I was watching it, it just kind of felt a little too young for me. So I decided to just put this one on because I heard that this one's really popular. And... Oh, it's so cold. I'm cheating a little bit because I made rice in the side. Okay, I'm gonna make dinner now. I'm gonna make just like a simple stir fry. I'm gonna make my stir fry with mushrooms, zucchini, and bok choy. So I think I've compiled everything and I've categorized it into five different categories So the first category is shelter So obviously you need some sort of shelter when you're out camping That could either be your car or if you want to have a tent camping experience Obviously you need a tent So the tent that I have is a three-person tent And this is a A-frame tent that I got from Woods Canada You also need a tarp a Tarp can be used for a few different purposes So you never want to put your tent just like over some gravel while you're sleeping It may pull through your tent and poke you so you want to make sure you have a layer of tarp underneath your tent before you lay your tent down now let's move on to the second category which is comfort things in this category is exactly as the name suggests they are comfort items you definitely don't need them but let me just say it makes camping a lot better the first thing is a table so a table is really nice obviously for cooking and things like that you want to have a surface it makes cooking a lot more enjoyable it's just better when you have a table in my opinion the second thing is a camp chair I personally have a REI chair that is is more like a classic like old school style so it's not the most space saving or the most lightweight thing but it's so comfortable I personally just like sitting on a low chair because i like being closer to the ground it just feels more comfortable next on the list is a sleeping pad it can either be just a yoga mat or you can get a sleeping pad this is one of my sleeping pads right here this is from rei and this is the trekker 1.75 it's pretty simple you just open it and it self inflates and of course you need a sleeping bag i feel like this is probably more on the essentials list but since we're talking about the sleep system I'll just include this in the comfort section this is a very inexpensive sleeping bag and as you can see it's very packable this one is from the brand Teton we got it on Amazon so the next category is kitchen I love this category because I love eating when we're camping first thing you'll need in your camp kitchen is a stove so this is the one that I have this is from dr. house and this is just a nice fancy stove and it's just cute and aesthetic but if it's your first time really you can just go to 99 ranch or like go on Amazon and buy like a $20 butane stove and that will do and obviously bring some butane because you need to use this to operate your stove next you want to have a cook set this set I think is really nice I recently just got this one for one to two people this is great uh, when I first started off camping I didn't even have a 
cooking set. I just brought what I normally cook with at home, so that works too. And of course, you want to bring some cooking utensils, so like maybe one spatula and something to eat with. This is the bowl set that I like to bring. I like this one because it's very compact and everything fits in here. So this one is from the brand United by Blue. I highly recommend getting something that's reusable so that you're not wasting a bunch of paper plates and like plastic forks and things like that. So getting a set like this will last you a lifetime. Something you definitely don't want to forget is water. You kind of have to think about how long you're going to be there, how much water you generally drink, how much water you're going to need uh, for cooking, and it's always safe to bring more than bring less. Speaking of water, you want to have something where you're drinking your water from. So this is the water bottle I like to bring, and I love this water bottle so much because it is so lightweight. And this is from the brand Platypus. I got it from REI, and I think this was $20. It also has a clip right here, so I normally just clip it onto my backpack. It does not leak at all. It is so, so nice. Now let's move on to the essentials. First up, you definitely need a first aid kit. Get yourself a first aid kit because you never know when it's gonna save your ass. Next on the list, I put this as essential because you never know when you might need it, whether it's to chop wood um, or to cut something open. I think it's definitely necessary to have a knife in your kit. This one is from the brand Moriniv. Um, Michael and Lizzie gifted this to me for my birthday. Um, it has a fire starter here. If you want something smaller, this one is from the brand QB. I got it on Amazon. This one is just a really nice, small, cute one from the brand Kaiser. But really, as long as you have something to cut things with, you should be fine. Next on the list is flashlights. So the flashlight I have here, this is actually Walls, is from the brand Nightcore. It's very, very bright and it's just simple. Another thing I really love is a flashlight headlamp. You just wear it on your head. You can tilt it so you can aim it down or you can aim it forward. It's just nice to have one of these. And then last on the essentials list, uh, I actually don't have it. I couldn't find it, but it is mosquito repellent, especially if you're going to a place in the summer or you're going to a place that has mosquitoes. Finally, the last category, which is clothing. Here I have a pair of Tevas. These are great. You just need shoes with straps on them and it's very grippy on the bottom and you can go in the water with. Also, depending on where you're going, you may not need hiking boots. But normally when I go camping, we like to go on some sort of hike. So I like to have so I like to have some sort of boot. The hiking boots that I have here are from the brand Vasque, and I do like them. They are not the most comfortable because they are heavy, but they're very, very durable. I really like having a nice pair of hiking boots. Uh, next up, I like to bring a packable jacket. I can wear it as a jacket, but I can also pack it up, and it also acts as a neck pillow. This is the backpack that I've been using, and it's from the brand Kavu. I got it at REI. The straps here are somewhat padded, so it's a little more comfortable, especially on the trail. So I have a pocket on the inside, and then also a pocket here on the flap. It fits my water bottle, some snacks, and my camera. Everyone needs these pants, okay? These are from REI. These are the pants that I like to wear for camping um, and hiking. Really any sort of outdoor activity, these are my go-to pants. And the reason being is because they are very light and durable. And on top of that, they are convertible. So you can wear it as a pant um, or you can unzip it and you have a pair of shorts, two pairs of pants in one. Okay. Okay, so I think that about covers everything that I wanted to share. I just finished editing this video and realized that I forgot to mention you also need a cooler. So I'll list all the things that I mentioned in the description box below. So open that and check it out if you're curious on where I got some of my items. And that's it to this video. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.